Hello, my name is North, and I'm bringing you another Golden Hour gameplay and commentary. I'm on the game mode Heroes, I'm on the map Docks, and I think I do quite well in this gameplay. You just have to watch the rest of it to find out. Now, I do have a bit of a cold actually. I woke up this morning and I've got a bit of a cold. Um, so if my voice sounds a bit weird and it sounds a bit nasally, then that's why. Um, so yeah, in this commentary, I'm going to be talking about what I think the best FPS is on Wii are, or the best FPS on Wii is. Um, because I do feel like I am in the position to say what I think the best is. Um, because in my FPS Wii Showcase series, I've played through all of the FPS FPSs on Wii, apart from Conduit and Medal of Honor Heroes 2. Now I'm going to start off by saying... Now, I don't think World at War and Reflex should be considered the best FPSs on Wii because of the lag shooting. Granted, World at War doesn't have as much lag shooting as um, Reflex, but it, it is still in the game. It is still noticeable, and I think it kind of ruin. It doesn't ruin it. It doesn't ruin the experience on both those games, but it kind of hinders it, if you know what I mean. Um, if the if the lag shooting wasn't in those two games, then they would be up there. But because they are, then I don't think they should be considered. I think they are much better balanced games and much better games where you can actually shoot people and you can actually kill them rather than having to lag shoot. It kind of hinders the experience. So that's why I don't think World at War and Reflex should be considered the best FPSs on Wii. Um, I know some people won't agree with me in my opinion, um, but that is just my opinion. Now, Modern Warfare 3 should not be considered the best FPS on Wii because of the hackers, because of the FMG9 Akimbo, and because of the death streaks. Now, granted, some people might say if you took those three out of the game, then it is a, a decent game, um, but th they're in the game, so... For me, it hinders the experience. It ruins the experience for me. Um, I don't find it fun running up against FMG and Akimbo and, you know, owning somebody in a gunfight. They fall into Dead Man's hand, pull out a nuke, and they just blow me up, basically. Um, I just don't find it fun how, you know, Modern Warfare 3 rewards people for being crap. Um, so that's why Modern Warfare 3 should not be considered the best FPS on Wii. Um, you've also got the bullshit moments in there. Um, you guys have seen it um, in my last bullshit series. You know, like the, the dying around corners, you know. And, you know, I, I'm going to say this for Call of Duty. I know I haven't talked about Black Ops, but in my opinion, Call of Duty is a game based on connection. It's a game based on who's got the better connection. And it's a game where... If if the game decides you've got a good connection, or the lag compensation decides that you've got a good connection, then you'll win the gunfight. You could hit three, four bullets into a person, they could turn around and kill you in one bullet. And that's what lets Call of Duty down, in my opinion. And that's why Black Ops is at number three, in my top three. And it's not number two or number one, because of that. And the dying around corners as well. So yeah, I'm going to talk about Black Ops now because I just mentioned it. So, Black Ops is at number 3 because, in my opinion, it is the best Call of Duty experience on Wii, hands down. Now, I know you've got the FAMAS, the York, the Stoner, the AK-74U, but I think you could look past that and say it is a quite balanced game. Um, it's not like if somebody whips out a FAMAS. You could easily whip out your org and you can, you know, equally do well against them, if you know what I mean. I think it's got the top two weapons. So, like, if one person used for mass, you could use the stoner and, you know, you could beat them. It's not like the FMG Nani Kimbo where you have to use FMG Nani Kimbo to beat them or you've got to be pretty lucky or you've got to be at long distance, if you know, to actually be an FMG Nani Kimbo user. So in that aspect, I think you know Black Ops is quite balanced. It's not as balanced as Conduit 2 or Goldeneye, which is why it is at number three. Um, the reason why it's at number three as well is because, like I said, about Call of Duty being a game based off of connection. 
Now, I know some people won't agree with me, but that's just my opinion. Now, Conduit 2 is at number 2, um, because I prefer I prefer it to Black Ops, because it is a game based on gun-on-gun -on -gun skill, gun-on-gun -on -gun gameplay, and that's what I prefer. You don't see people sitting in corners, you know, trying to get the kill streaks and letting the kill streaks do all the work. You actually see people running around, trying to play the game, um, the way it is supposed to be played, and you know you see people like I said running around. It just makes it more fun, in my opinion. Now the only thing that lets the game down for me is the perks. Now if you play the game for a long period of time, then you'll get the best perks, um, and that's why you know it's not number two. But I can see why it, you know you would say that it, it is your favourite FPS is FPS on Wii. Now, in my opinion, the best FPS on Wii is GoldenEye. There's no lag shooting. The hit detection is perfect. Um, you know, it's good on gun gameplay. It's got unique gamers like Golden Gun, Black Box, Heroes. Um, and that's just one you know, reason why it's a good game. It's the best FPS on Wii. It's a fun game as well. I've played the game for hours and hours on end. And I can honestly say it's the best experience I've had on a video game um, online it, it is, it really is it's such a quality game now I know some people say oh the graphics, the graphics are crap, the controls are rubbish now if you've actually you know persevered with the controls then you can get used to it it's just people moaning you know trying to pick fault with a game which ain't really there I know the controls aren't as fluid as Call of Duty but you can easily get used to them. You really can. Now I'm at the end of this gameplay. I'm going to carry on talking for a little bit longer. Um, so yeah. GoldenEye is the best FPS on Wii. Um, let me know what you think the best FPS on Wii is. GoldenEye is the best in my opinion. It really is. It's just The reason why it's the best. It's simple. You know. Pick a gun. Run around. Shoot people. You don't have to pick. Granted, it's got perks in it, but you don't have to pick. Oh, I've got to have, I've got to have blind dive because they're gonna have choppers in that. Oh, I've got to have, you know, this. I've got to have that. I've got to have ghosts because they're gonna put the UAV up in that. You know, it's it's a much more simpler game, and the simpler the better, in my opinion. So yeah, Golden is the best FPS on Wii, in my opinion. Let me know what you think the best FPS on Wii is, in the comments. I know a few people will say Black Ops, Conduit 2, but for me, it's GoldenEye. Um, it is a quality game. So, yeah, that is the end of this video. I'll see you in the next commentary, guys. So, yeah, goodbye.